standing here in the uh, Independence Square in Independence, Missouri, where we're going to start the Oregon Trail. And you can see behind me this marker uh, is kind of the, you know, it says here the Oregon Trail began. And, and so the center of the city is probably a good place for us to start as well. A little bit about the Oregon Trail. So the Oregon Trail uh, was kind of set up in the early 1800s from like 1810 to 1830s by fur trappers and traders and people who were kind of trying to find, you know, uh, avenues mostly along streams and rivers out to the west and a lot of them kind of were the early people to try to figure out the, um, the pathway to get to the west. The first people to head out on the Oregon Trail, uh, kind of on the, I guess what you would call the Oregon Trails, probably in the 1830s. There were only a, a, maybe a couple dozen in the 1830s that made that trek and um, tried to figure out you know, where the path went. The 1840s was when the things really got going, and especially in 1843. That was the year called the Great Migration, where almost a thousand people headed west. So the main years of the Oregon Trail was about 1843 to 1869. 1869 was when the railroad was extended to the west, and and from 1869 to like 1890, there were still some people that did it, but uh, because of the railroad, it was it was um, kind of obsolete at that point. I think the reputation of the Oregon Trail is that that most people died along the Oregon Trail because of the video game. If you ever played the video game. And, uh, but, and a lot of people did die. About 20,000 people died along the Oregon Trail. That was only about 5% of the people that actually attempted to do the Oregon Trail. And uh, so, so one out of every 20 uh, didn't make it. The route is around 2,000 miles, a little over that. And this was actually where multiple trails were. There was the Santa Fe Trail that also started here, or actually that also went through here. Uh, the California and the Mormon Trail went the same direction as the Oregon Trail for uh, a long way and then they broke off later in the west and we'll show you that later in this adventure. And um, so this was the, the Independence is kind of the called the queen city of the trails because of all those trails that started here. Independence is basically now a, an eastern suburb of Kansas City, Missouri. There's over a hundred thousand people that live here now. And back in the day when the Oregon Trail was going, there's only a couple thousand people. So it's really grown. It's the county seat of Jackson County. So without further ado, let's check out Independence, Missouri, named after Independence Day. And uh, let's check out Independence, Missouri and get headed on the trail. My wagon for the next couple weeks, Jeep Grand Cherokee, Wanted to get something that had a little bit of clearance in case I do a little off-roading, and uh, so hopefully this will be this will be a vehicle that does the trick. So before I'm heading out on the trail, um, stopping by here and checking out uh, this area that behind me is, is if you see like the swales in the grass, that's apparently from all the wagon trails that went through here. And so they kind of protected this area. One of the few places that you can see things like this in Kansas City. Obviously everything's been paved over and things like that. So they've protected a little bit of it here. So the part of the Oregon Trail that's in Missouri is very short, 20 or so miles. Uh, and, and so in fact, the way the, the official, if you take the official National Historic Trails uh, route, then you'll go right into Kansas pretty quick. I'm gonna take what I think was the Oregon Trail, which is a little bit more south for a little while in Missouri, and then it kind of goes into Kansas a little more in the southern part of Kansas City. So basically from here, it's Kansas City, and then a lot of suburbs until we hit Kansas.
We're here right at the border of Missouri and Kansas at the ghost town of New Santa Fe. Um, backing up, you know, as we, as we, you just saw going through Missouri, not a lot to go through and check out in Missouri, mostly because it's just basically Kansas City and it's just a concrete jungle at this point. Uh, but some interesting, you know, old wagon ruts and some things like that. Those may not be the most exciting things to look at, but it is interesting to kind of even walk across them and, you know, feel the ground and how, you know, they were rutted for, you know, a couple hundred years ago and, and where the wagons actually went through. Uh, here, at, this is the last point of Missouri before we head into Kansas City. The state line is just really across the street here. And um, the interesting history with this little town that now is nothing more than a cemetery and then a historical place where they have more wagon ruts. Um, New Santa Fe was originally called Little Santa Fe. And, and then it became, you know, as the Oregon Trail and the Santa Fe Trail were popular and came through here, it became a um, you know, the last town before you got into Kansas. And because that, that was its downfall because it was literally almost right on the state border. Um, during the civil war, it became a town that just got destroyed by, you know, both sides of the civil war. And, uh, Missouri was a slave state and Kansas was, um, a free state. And so it was, you know, just a lot of trouble and the town eventually was destroyed and, nothing much is left except for there's a cemetery now.